All right, that's where I had to magnetize this to. There isn't much to uh, magnetize my mount to uh, newer bodies, uh, 04 Suburban. So that's where I put it. This is an alternator repair replacement. Uh, the issue, because I just did this one a year ago, faulty unit, it's been probably, it's a Delphi brand, I believe it's been rebuilt. If you can hear the squeak, We'll bring it closer so you can hear it. It wasn't charging. It's happens with this brand, Delphi, I think it's called. Junk, overseas junk, or remanufactured, rebuilt junk, I should say. So you can hear it squeak. You can hear it squeak. You see all the bullshit in there? So, today's job is to replace this. I've already started unbolting things. I had to take the only tools you need is 15 millimeter. It could be deep or short. I use deep. Uh, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeters for this bolt only. Uh, you can see that that snapped off. That was another problem in the making. So I had it recording before and stopped it because it had me cussing about that bolt. So I'm redoing the recording. And uh, flathead screwdriver to take your hose clamp off here and here at your mass airflow. Uh, pretty much just that. So. And this is the golden turd. This is what I call this thing. Because it has multiple problems from the original owner that neglected it instead of doing their frequent maintenance. So this is a sketchy one, obviously. If I had a, the short out, I'm not going to do it. So fast, simple fix if your uh, battery keeps running dead and it's normally the alternator on an ls to... and i'll explain why the denali has a different has the same alternate well it has a bigger alternator because the ac system is different on it same brand alternator i've replaced that one on that denali three times because they're junk and they have but the nice thing about it is this has a lifetime warranty on the one, at least on the one in the Denali. So there's multiple different sizes. That one has the biggest size you can get. So if you're looking for an alternator upgrade, it's got a stereo system, and you have a regular Suburban, just, just go out and get a Denali XL, a GMC Denali XL alternator, because it's bigger. Because the AC system and all the other extra electronics you don't have in the normal vehicles, it takes that extra alternator to run all that stuff. So if you got like an amp and speakers, just a you know a simple upgrade. All the wiring is the same. Right, this might give you shit. I just had this off. I don't think it will. If you're in the auto zone parking lot, make sure you got your little screwdriver. This is gonna give me a little bit of shit. So since it's junk anyway, just get it up on the fin. Same thing on this side, right off the bolt edge. It's gonna give you shit. Because these little grommets that are there on the bracket, the AC bracket, pulley bracket, whatever you want to call it. There you have it, the junk.
trying to work with everything being really hot. Extremely hot. And it's been off for a while, so. Issue with the grommet all together there. Try not to. Just need to get it to move like a hair. No, she's not going to move a hair. I need a persuasion. Normally, I don't have to do this. By the way, I'm not about to grab my rubber hammer, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> what a nightmare. This is what this truck does. Normally that just falls in there. So it's the only one that I ever read to do that gave you shit about everything. Just smash the whole thing. All right, here we go. Got to bust my fingers. There we go. I moved it. So I don't recommend tapping on it, but. That probably expanded because it got hot. Chinese junk. No offense. No offense. That's what everybody else says. that one first since it's giving me crap. And this thing like every simple thing you gotta do to it is always an extra chore. That's why I call it the golden turd. It fits a Dana 60 and a 14 bolt dually in the back of it. When you have bi axles, by the way. My recording caught that when methods yell. I should just make that. <laughs> method yell. The methods yell at each other. I gotta stop.
Okay, we're back. I had to stop because the bird life kid went to my mom's. So she went to grandma's house. So I already tightened up these bolts. And they're all tight to the grommets. See that? So that's what you missed. Oh, we'll put you back. I was going to do this with the. Uh, Deal with these damn mods. Uh, was gonna do it with the crest wrench to show that people can do this out of their garage, but things weren't working out. So, this is a 12 millimeter. At least the one before, uh, the, the other one was a 12 meter, or well, 10 millimeter, not. It's a 10 millimeter. So, that goes on. It's like one of the only things I really normally have to do on an LS. This is a 5.3. This Denali is a 6.0. Oh, Q4. And a uh, shorter socket would probably work better, but... As long as it don't move. I think even the wire, I might have to fix that wire if you still have issues. See that? Mm -hmm. There. If you're good like me, you can do this with a deep well socket. But you gotta go from that spot. Helen Keller fucking designed this shitty ass pulley system. I swear something is off down there. You don't have it lined up correctly too, by the way. I will add the, the belt intends to fight with you. Because it's a retarded belt system. I really don't care for this belt system.
sweating like the guy from the airplane movie. Only been at it for a couple seconds. It's that hot outside. There, that's on there. Oh, you motherfucker. I just noticed that. Hmm. Every step of the way, fighting me. It was just on there. And then I rolled it back to adjust it, and then it come off the pull over steering pump. Okay. For the 90th time. It's hard to balance up on that. Is that... The stupidest looking thing in the world, or whatever this fucking... Shrout? Shrout? Fucking... Dumbass looking thing? This is... This thing is, you know... You're hearing me, GM. Stop fucking making stupid shit like this. Stop. Your fucking people that you, the people you got, making it. Not much in the damn way. The people you got designing things like this. Come on now. Forget the tan if your home's clamped. Okay. See that? That came off the old alternator. The bolt didn't want to back off, so I had to make a part two, literally. That's why I got a second recording. You won't see that side so restart and remake recordings. Even the sockets fucking burning hot. Barely even hold on to these tools. You can start it. Gosh, leak the foot. And that'd be the golden turd. Fights you every second of the way. That's the golden turd. Now I'm gonna stop you here. Enjoy. Like, subscribe. I'm probably gonna have to air that tire up for him. Everybody have a good day. Might have a couple more shorts going on today. However I'm feeling. That's how sweaty I am. And it was only at it for less than 20 minutes but I did have a pause time and center on waiting too for about seven minutes so everybody have a good day appreciate it like subscribe you don't have to like I said it helps me thank you for watching